Lucian himself. Greetings, my brother. Kemar. <laughs> yeah, but it's. And a rebel man. That's trending. Which is right. Digitally mended, you know? I want to take my time out and really yeah. welcome you to Art for it. Give thanks, Try. Welcome enough? you wherever you go over the world. Because Trunk, you know, yes, when, you, when your presence is anywhere, it is a blessing and it's an honor. Give because thanks. me in your presence right now, I feel honored. Give thanks. And just Give that thanks. alone to me, Give thanks. me can't relive the moment. Your performance last night at the Sportsman. True, man. I never see you perform before, but I feel like I have an experience. It's not even just a performance. When you have sure. an experience, you didn't just visit an area and sure. listen to the music. When you have an experience, your whole body, spirit, and mind no. is involved. Sure. And we really love the fact that you stick to the core. From a youth, I listen to Luciana till now. Never core, never stop. Sure, yeah. What keep you on a straight path, Luciana? Well, you know, honestly, when you identify your purpose, mm. that's a very important thing, you know. Your purpose. Your purpose in life. Because, as I said, man was made to serve, yeah. And then my duty is in service to humanity because my music, the talent that Jah has given me, I know how people out there, they need inspiration, my brother. You know, some people might be able to make it through life or have it easy because you're born with certain kind of inheritance from your family. Yeah. And your father or your parents hand down something. Some people get whole heap of things, land and all these things. But some people are born with nothing. Okay? No, have, no, they no. have to start from scratch. All right. Put, take, take this as an example. When I started singing, when I came in the music fraternity, I, my father, my father wasn't, my father was a carpenter. He was a carpenter? Yeah, but he was not a singer, you know. I tell you something, my mother was a singer out of the two. Mama yeah. Sophia and Papa Arthur McClyman. But my father couldn't sing for a night's dinner. <laughs> but, but he was the evangelist. So I think I get the evangelism from my father, you know. I grew up in the church. Yeah, I grew up in the church, you know. And my mother, but my mother used to wake up early mornings and sing. So I get that kind of singing thing from her. If I'm out, like I'm out in the, I'm picking breadfruit or picking apples or in the mango tree. Right. I'm singing. Always. I love to sing. But the unique thing about, just not just you singing. Yeah. Because we have a lot of singers. But here what I feel like, I want to make people know, I just want you know, because I'm going to say it to you. Is a unique tone in your voice. If that's that, when you hear that tone of voice, doesn't matter what you're doing. If you want that. to sing along if you don't know the lyrics. <laughs> and when you know the lyrics, you can't stop singing. Give thanks. And when you learn the lyrics, every way you hear it, you sing. Give thanks. That's a three dimension of your voice alone. That's you know, with me until as a young youth, with me experience. Give thanks, man. So where you get that unique voice? That's a blessing. I think the voice also comes with age and maturity. Right. And also to how you take care of it. Because if you don't care what you have, you know, you will lose it. That's fact. Yeah. And I find out I don't strain my vocal cord. I put too much things up. I don't drink too much strong. If I am having a drink, I can have a one I have drink a one Guinness. Yeah. But that's good for me. Me too, cousin. But now I drink, but now I drink too much and get drunk, and I'm mean, now drink no strong liquor for. To make you unconscious. Yeah, you have to make my vocal cords burn up or scratch up because you see some people drink this. They make all their mixture and drink it. All them gum burn up, man, and get white. And you have white stuff so like that. It does the same thing to your vocal cords. No oh. people don't realize, you know. All them tongue get white. Yeah. Yeah. But. So, I drink and, and I do a lot of teas and so on. And I, I, like, I love my ginger tea. Yeah, and I drink a lot of juices, coconut water, and lots of, you know. And what, coconut water and juices. water from the fruits is actually best for the body. I drink up my Irish mass and everything there. <laughs> I, I feed my body. You properly I take feed care of yourself. I feed my ample, my ample, because I don't answer body. I feed my ample. Your ample? Not even temple. Ample. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, Lucia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want next thing again. Yeah. Good rest. You need your rest. Oh God, man. Because if you notice, you know, no matter how, how, much, how much supplements you're taking and how much things you're putting down, in, in try to clear up your throat. If you don't get some good rest, you don't really rest. You're not, your throat now nah, got no rest. So you feel, you, yeah, you, your, your whole you know, body. Uh, the cells don't get a transfer heal. 
Right. Yeah. So you've been always this type of person? Because it's while you're sleeping, really, that your cells get to heal, you know? And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. renewing themselves, you know? That is right, because you need your rest to re rejuvenate. Exactly. And that's why I always tell people, I mean, for a man, I don't know about for anybody else in the world, but for me, in my personal opinion, a man, peace of mind is the gold mine to anything, to True. any success. True. If you're with a woman and she don't bring a peace of mind, you will never be successful. Exactly. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you have a job, you have to have peace of mind. That's how you Definitely. Focus. That's how you create. Definitely. That's how you write. That, exactly. And then, I, I, as I go along, as I remember, all the necessary things yeah. that are needed to maintain your health. Exercise also. You have to. Very good. I was just watching a documentary on that. They call it the blue zones. Mm -hmm. And people in the world that are living over 100, they call them centurions. Okay. And they, they have exercise in their daily routine. Okay. They said that these people, even in Japan. See, I'm learning from you too. Yeah, in Japan, what they do is, even when they retire from their job, almost all of them have a garden. Whoa. So they keep strengthening their back by digging and planting. Okay. And they also survive by bonding with people that are like-minded. Mm. So you need people to survive. You need companionship. That's deep. That's and you need deep. to be moving. But that's, that's why when you're in America and they put you in a that's nursing deep. home, and you sit down in a chair for, for, for six, seven years, your back weeks, so and you move, you move, oh, you sleep, you work it. And then you don't have much people to, you know... Have a Take little care time to, you know, chill and talk with. Exactly. So, you know. really taking care of your body is really good. I like the fact that you do that and you take care of your vice and you keep blessing with that amazing vice. We've done talking about you. vice, you have performed a lot of places. Where have you got your most interactive impact by the crowd? Well, if, if you're talking about first impression yeah. that will last, you know, honestly, when I went to Africa, I remember when it was in 1996. Yeah. It was Cisla, myself, Mike General. Yeah. Uh, and the exterminator crew, we went to visit with Baba Mall. Mm. And I tell him about it until to today. It still resonates in my mind. All the people, the Africans, they react. Oh, God, man. I tell you, it's a great feeling. It's like, it's a homecoming feeling that I get when you go to Africa. And not just Senegal, but also Kenya. When I went to Kenya, also yeah, and Gambia. So these places. These places, man. Uh, Blessings. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put aside my, like my 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 UK fan base and so on, because when I did um, live in Brixton Academy, it was another great impact for me. So I couldn't just say it's, I couldn't single out. Say it's one. What? Well, yeah. You have a, when I went a to great impact. Ghana also. When I went to Ghana. I couldn't believe it, man. The response and the, the welcome party that was at the airport waiting for us. It's something to talk about. I didn't see Mr. Forbes put out a book, Reggae My Life, My Life Is, and I noticed he didn't mention anything about that Ghana trip. Because okay, it was missing. It was John Legend and myself. That was on the, the bill. And I tell you, John Legend was slated as the headliner and uh, the, 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 like, the show was built around John Legend and I was like a supporting act. But when we went there and when, when, they, when I landed and the musicians, I landed with his musicians. And when they saw the, the kind of response that I got and the welcome that I got at the airport, they have to flip the script and make me close the show. I'm telling you, at that time John Legend, was hot. Hold on. I'm telling they, you. They flip the script? They flip the script. I don't know Mr. Fab not right about that in his book, you know, but that's another long story. But and and John Legend, story, honestly, though. John Legend, nice. And I met him. Nice virgin. Nice. He, even in the morning after the show, he, he came in the in the arm. Um, in the breakfast room. Yeah. And he said, Man, I love the energy, I love your vibes. I like this reggae thing. It's nice. Honestly, I, I, I should have capitalized on that opportunity. You should have. And we should have done a combination with John Legend. You should have. But sometimes we don't get to follow up. You don't get to meet legends every day. And let me tell you something, when we, the legends that I respect the most, from the court, from home. Yes, the legends sir. in America don't mean as much to me as the legends from home. Sure. Because the legends from home know what home is like. 
and they sing what home is like, so it's mm. more relatable to me. Yeah. I would never see a Beyonce or a Jay-Z and feel the same way like I'm a feel about legends from home. Give thanks. So but you know what? It's a pleasure. And I know people from from their community, like from Jay-Z's community, yeah. and they might speak, same as how you speak now, you know, because they can relate to their legends, you know? You see them? Right now, you don't even know. As a youth, about 91. When did you start doing music? Watch this. I started in 1992. It's true. Wow. It's true. I was man. two years old. <laughs> when I decided, I'm going to do this music. Yeah, man, it's an honor, man. It's an honor. When me are two years old, I don't know about you yet. It's, it's I know true. me the writer, so with you. It's true, man. That's crazy. Man, with the music, with the legend's music, man. It's true. Isn't it that I'm glad to them create stuff like Caribbean Music Awards now? Yeah. Because legends now can get a space and a slot Give to get that. recognized true. in a global way. Because we get it at true. Jamaica, but sometimes we get it abroad. It's they true. They give them a yard with the same strength where we get abroad. It's true. Why? It's true. It's what do you think? You can travel overseas and be more welcomed than when you're in the, the, the Jamaica itself. I think probably you, you them say, um, a king never get honor in his own town, you know. And you think that's facts? And it's reality. They can't because, fight it. Because even, even Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he was not honored in his own town. But when he traveled and did, and did his work and his ministry, the, the whole multitude started gathering. And then it was then that the people from his hometown started saying, what? Because he's Bob Marley. When I when he, when he listen to the story of Bob Marley, that he was not really honored the, the right way in his earlier stages of his music. And it was like when foreigners, like tourists, come to Jamaica and, they and say, say, where's, I want to meet Bob Marley. And people say, Bob Marley. Like, they can't believe. I say, what do you know about Bob Marley? I right. Say, Bob, you don't know about Bob Marley? P listen this. But you know what? I give thanks, my brother, Kemal, right? Yes. We have a great privilege today as, as, um, as, as I say, legends. We, we have the privilege of, of um, social media. Yes, to bring the word more. Because the word more. a lot of time, even sometime in, in Jamaica, in the earlier stages, earlier years, um, we, we remember people never used to, like you, you release your music, I never know your music doing great. Elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere. Your, your, your music might be number one, and you're there in Jamaica and suffer, and can't even find, you know, dinner. And you worry about the future, and I say, bro, chance, girl, that all this thing I go back. The opportunity. But no, them can't, they, they can't happen again because you have the internet to type and see, what's, uh, and going see on. what's going on and pop up on your record. I say, weird. A person can follow their dreams. Them can follow their dreams. That's why I even encourage some of these young artists to say, don't get this despondent, I don't get disheartened, I don't, don't give up hope. Because, focus. because you might not hear your music being played in the radio locally. Are you not hearing the music like being advertised or like the disc track is or selectors playing it in the dance round here? Use up your the, 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 um, the social media, use yeah, up the, the technology. Best way possible. Yeah, man, and put the thing. Do your little thing, look a video, post them up. And on the internet. Yeah, man. You have to believe in a you first, you know, before you really can't believe in Hallelujah, you. my brother. I mean, know you have an experience with even Bob Marley music being accepted. You just uh, you just talk about it, and 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 it's so sad that another person have to recognize a gold mine it's before true. we take it serious. It's true, man. I, all right. For example, when I I remember I used to go on a Four Seasons cruise. Yeah. I'm virgin hardly hardly out of um, Atlanta is keep it, and I tell you the truth, my brother. It was when I go on the cruise, I realize how people really appreciate the music, even abroad, especially. So I tell you something too, you know. Like you own people like the Jamaicans who are living abroad, they appreciate the music more than even those maybe they because probably because they might see you around and you see you going to the supermarket, pick up your stuff. You might say, Oh, that's duty. It's you, know, you might ride past on the bike and say, That's that's duty going there. So they see every day. So after a while, become like it becomes like the norm to them. But you see for the, for those people living like a Jamaican living all the way down in Europe now and see you. So that you come in and summer jam, reggae summer jam, a Ratatam festival, and them come out to see and them say, Lord, sir! Lord, sir! It's a, it's it's a, a great feeling. So I wouldn't say 
that your own people don't appreciate, you know. It's like... It's the concept. It's just the concept of... Uh, of seeing a person every day versus seeing a person in a long period of time. Right, because even in Jamaica, I find like if I, when I go to certain parishes, like I'm not frequent. And when I go there, the people glad to see me. Yes. And they come out and... So, it's just a concept, as I say. Yeah, man, be social and be nice and be friendly. And, 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 your, fans, and your fans love, love to be able to take a picture mm -hmm. and, you know, chat with your liquor. And you never, you never know you will have, you, you give them an inspiration for the day and you carry them motivate through life. Them. Motivate them. So I believe that you, you can't be afraid to be, to be natural because as Bob Marley said, natural is a mistake and the mistake is natural. Mm. Sometimes I can give another drama now <laughs> because we, we got a little place like on a local. I ride my bike one time. I'm saying I ride around the island. I'm ride around Ochi side and let me go around. St. Thomas first, and go around Portland and ride, and I reach Ocho Race, I see one crowd, and I just pull up. I have my bike, I have my number on my bike, and I have my, 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 my helmet and things, and my glass, glasses and things, so they don't really recognize me. And I look at my sister, it's like a fish fry going on, so I just get a cup of fish tea, and I sip up my fish tea, and chill. I chill and I all the vibes, and you see about three other people them come to me and say, what am I look like low chisa? They're not sure. They're not sure. Because you may move so simple. That's you're another not, thing, you know. You not act like you're above anyone. That is the power because remember when, when Christ was going into Jerusalem, you know. Is a donkey him right you know? Yes. And he could have right but not as a chariot, golden chariot, but he just keep it simple. And this is what that shock, even the king himself. Like I said, who's this the commander's coming so humble? Because when the king I move him, I move horses and chariots and, and everybody have to look. houses and men, everybody have to look and have come out of the way and die, and have that die for them life. And this great king just come in on a donkey. Simple. Simple. Because the simplicity cracked them. It cramped them more time because now. Because it's unexpected. You don't know what to expect. Hallelujah. But simply, you know, because... Yeah. Because enough time you see all the entourage when the government be, people going through. Like them give it themselves. Because you make one bag of noise and people know that you are coming. So if anyone wants to set up for you, they can set up for you. <laughs> but you incognito. Huh? Think about it. Trend, Facts. Trending. Songs <laughs> that I want to address that has been resonating with me for the years. Give thanks. Over the years. Hills Over and the back. hills. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Do you know how powerful that song is? Man, that's, sometimes I feel like an artist song. would do a song and they really know how powerful it yeah, is. Man, do that, you know how powerful that song is? That song is a very big song. And I didn't get to sing it last yeah, night, man. did I? Lord, give me strength. That's Over another big song. It's me again, Ja. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What about Serve Ja? Serve Ja. My question is, when <laughs> you're making these songs, what is the inspiration? behind these powerful songs. Well, all good inspiration is from the Almighty. Amen. First, first, let Amen. us say that. And then you have to have a motive for singing a song. Mm -hmm. When I sing my song, I think about my people out there. I, I don't know what the people going through a whole lot. I think a way to inspire them. And inspire them. That is it. I like that because mm. for me, like that song, they resonated with me for so much years. Yes, I want to get a chance to ask you know, and ask you how you created. You know, you just did, you just did, you actually did what you said, you practiced, you keep it simple. Mm. Keep it simple. As a matter of fact, I have a song on an alphabet too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, my brother, my manager, my brother, my friend. Yeah. Uh, you know, my producer. Yeah. Because we, we do a great, we do a lot of great work together. Yeah. Brother Anthony, my yeah. manager. Yes. He, he has the Mountain Peak record. We have a song called Mama Africa. Africa, we love you. It's on an alphabet. I want you to check it out. Well, my fans, check it out. Check out that. <clears throat> Hear that from Lucy. So we're not, you understand? I tell you something about rhythms. Music, the rhythms are innocent. It's what you sing on it. That makes it. Even if I soca. It doesn't matter what it is. I just, I'm going to sing the right thing, make people can know, say, respect for yourself, respect for your fellow man, respect to the lady, respect to, 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 for life, and respect for your community, respect to the Almighty God. And then you try to find words that will, Elevate people, inspire people instead of demoralizing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a journalist asked um, Michael Jackson, 
This is the next thing again, you know. Yeah. You have to be in tune with what's happening around you, your environment. You study other legends. You study other people. Definitely. And see what you can learn from them. Because I learned from, from the greats like Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, Peter Tush, Bernie Spear, Sugar Minot, Gregory Isaac, Admiral Tibet. You notice I'm naming out some real icons. These are some great icons. Mr. Freddie McGregor, mm. Mr. Barry Salmond. You, you, you learn from these greats. You take a page from them. You see... Uh, these young generation, they, sometimes they don't appreciate us as as icons, and sometimes they, they their little hour of fame get to their head, and they feel like they're better than us. They will pass us, like you know, because they're probably in the spotlight now, and people screaming out their names and so on. They get swell headed. And we walk past all the icon and legend. Yeah. And talk with them entourage. And then the business yeah. and now showing the respect. They pile your boat. That's crazy. Because. But you see, when you can take time out for acknowledge these things, learn from these great. Michael Jackson said, as I mentioned. Yeah. Because they asked him, Michael, how do you make so much hits? Yeah. He said, you know, I just keep it simple. I keep my songs a, a song that people can sing along. With it? You have some people writing some great songs, you know, but, you know, easy to sing along with it. I remember... Them alone can't sing it. I'm telling you. You just say something more really want to come as a young youth. Other people not acknowledging the legends that are in front of them. But I don't think they understand the concept of how to appreciate what's in front of them. You have hot songs. Right? You have anthem. Right? Mm -hmm. And you have hit songs. Here's the difference. We believe hot is it. But hot, just like when you turn on a song. Can't get cool. cool. <clears throat> we say hit song can never get hot or cool. It live forever. <laughs> live. We love the argument. We love the argument. Oh, you have, a, oh, you have escape. You have hot song and you have hit song. You have hit song and they have anthem. No, you have hot song and hit song. You see that, that speech? Eh? Big. Come on, a song can be hot today, no? And you're hot again next but week. It, nah, at next month. That's why your type of music is always going to be legendary hit songs. A catalog where you don't have to make another song if you don't want to. But you what I find out also. <laughs> I make a note. I realize that. Yeah. If the song needs to have some form of substance. You need message. You need some form of... But people can resonate with the you. people can relate to. And a lot of artists don't you know? do that. They just create a song just to get a buzz. That's what's happening today. And this is why <laughs> the, the generation really gone astray. Because they're going after the hype. A lot you of know? people don't understand, say, you know, it's just for a time. I mean, some people don't care. Some people sacrifice themselves, which... One of the things with me as a young youth... I never raised with my father. So, in order to be a man, I had to look at other men that has become successful being a father. And when my grow on elders, I take what I can from them and put it in a myself and become a man. Exactly. That's me. Knowledge is key. That's me. You That's understand? what I do. Okay. And when you grow with two parents, I realize that you have more of a successful lifestyle. When you grow with one, you miss something. You know, because fathers are very important and mothers are very important. And together they are a unit. They have greater importance. So, you know what I mean? In the union, you know? We feel like as a youth, we try to make sure say, we always a learn. Even when somebody... Yeah, man, we never stop learning. You always a learn. All when somebody, I tell you something we already know, shut up and listen. You Every might learn day. something else. Every day we learn something. Look, look what you just said a while ago. You have hit song and you have hot songs. <laughs> oh, I'm big target. You see that target? I died to the day, man. <laughs> yeah, man, you have it song and you have what song. But you remember, you just said something a while ago. Sometimes, even when you speak, you say something where you didn't know you said sometimes, no, come on. That resonated with you, That reason, here, here, is, here is what you just said a while ago. Some people will sacrifice themselves to just get a hit or to get big. Yeah. But it's good to sacrifice. But sacrifice for what? You have some people sacrifice to get, to go get a big forward or Sacrifice them career just to get to our mileage or get some views. Saying? People doing it that as we speak now. Right now, yeah. A man have a nice career and just to him and go get some likes or some views on TikTok or social media, whatever. 
him come get caught up in a and one bag of silly. Thing. And do some silly stuff. And make it, and, and not realize him and lose ratings. I lose people. So I sacrifice him career, I sacrifice him character, I sacrifice him fan base. But look at a man like Jesus Christ, Yahshua the Christ. He sacrificed himself for, this, for a good ring cause. A good. And look how I know if his name can't stop ring. And this is why I say. So sacrifice yourself, sacrifice for something good. good. Marcus Garvey and all these great men they sacrifice because when they could be watching movies and kicking up them foot and laugh and talk and feel, you know, and satisfied with themselves. Hey, they sacrifice them own self, them own happiness, them own life just for the sake of, of redeeming their own people. Yeah. And, and this is why they live as long as they, they will always be. Unity, fighting for the top oh, place. God. Let me tell you something what I learned too. As a great, may I tell you this. I don't aim to be the best media personality. I aim to be original. I will do my part until I find something unique that stands out about that strength. Yo, you know, so you're, you're, you're going to be a legend. You know why I'm well, aim it, for be you, you know why I'm aim for be original? You'll be a legend in your youth. If a legend, I think you will be a legend. I walk up. Remember me tell you this. You see, all you reason as a, as a young... Oh, remember... They would, they, they, they would be... Greater in their performance yeah. and in their expressions. Let me tell you something. Which and they would be, you know, a far ahead, not far ahead in every way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucy, <clears throat> we really want to touch this closing part of our podcast with a few feedback right. from you. Yes, sir. Just keep it a hundred with me. What's your favorite lyric to any song? Well, it's me again, Ja. It's me again. It's ja. one of my favorite. And anything to do with Ja. I love that. Man was made to serve Ja. Okay. It's me again, Ja. Ja give me strength. Anything connected to the Almighty God mm -hmm. is strength for me. That is your favorite line. Yeah, from man. Any, from any of your catalog. Yes, man. That stand out to you. Yeah, man. It's me again, Ja. Because at the end of the day, we were created. And we came in this world, we know not our purpose until we find our way and decipher how we're going to find a way to express ourselves that we can become acknowledged as whatever we are. We are. And our purpose. So, so when we do that now and find that this is, oh, so this is who I am. I'm really a messenger. So you really return to the Almighty God with your consciousness becoming one now with the, with the, with the Supreme Being. And then he will fuel you. And give you whatever you need to be to fulfill your purpose. This is how the messenger has come about. And I respect it's that. It's me again. Ja. ja. Tell your fans five things you cannot live without. You can't live without the breath, first thing. <laughs> you can't live without water. Mm -hmm. You can't live without love. You can't live without nutrients, with food and whatever you get. And you can't live without a peace of mind. Those five things you cannot live. You can't live without them there. And I feel like and the word of God, you can't live without the sunlight. There's so many things. That, there's more than five things. You understand? Yeah, well, that's why you're well, you got five. five. My top five. Yes. Yeah, man. Those As we said, the word of God, love, water, breath, nutrients. Okay. Love. You watch movies, right? Yes. Favorite actor, Denzel Washington or Morgan Freeman? I want to tell you. Keep it a hundred. Well, you see, Dale's Washington yes. is the general without any hesitation. It's a Morgan Freeman. So you don't want any of it. Keep it a hundred. A two, I'm a general. Then. So yeah, I leave it there. You call two great general. Yeah, because my wife tries to be difficult. But oh, okay, okay. It, but keep it a hundred. It's really difficult. If you, if, if, if you want to keep them as, as the same, you know. But Dale's Washington, man. If you were supposed to choose. Sir Dale's Washington. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, so my last question to keep it 100 is your best advice you've ever received. Well, to tell you the truth, you know, one of the best advice that I ever got was to just be myself and don't try to be someone else, you know. Because it's nice to emulate some great people that you respect and honor, but you have your own Charisma. You have your own persona. integral strength and and blueprint that Jazz has given you. 
that you have to fulfill and manifest upon creation. Not true. And when you humiliate, when you do follow him and, and trying to be like other people, you end up might follow the same route and end up in the same destiny, which is not necessarily your destiny. That is true. So be yourself. Be true to yourself. And the first, one of the greatest first commandments of life is mankind, know thyself. Because it's within knowing thyself that you may be able to inspire others. Facts. If you fulfill your purpose. Give it the and then you will make an impact on other people. That's trending. That is it. Respect, Respect and honor. And thank you, sir. Guidance. Bless. Nation yeah. way. Guru. Money. Anytime your heart too big, that's trending. Them take your fear for land. You know, you know, I go represent for that trending, or the bad trending.